And Charlie Gunnar together with Pope Ryan Gregorio Sal Guevara is with us at courtside. What a fourth quarter we are expecting. First blood drawn by the Alaska Aces. And this is where you see the resilience of Alaska. They were down by five points at the end of two quarters. They were uh, able to overhaul that lead. And they started hostilities here with an easy bucket from uh, Vic Manuel. And natin ang magsasagot itong talk and text. Petty Groom, itanga ng bola. Down to six seconds on the clock. Imports playing the two-man game. Petty Groom trying to force his way at that baseline. Nawala sa kanyang bola. No complaints from him. He knew he mocked that play. Well, on the initial defensive stance of Manuel, all he needed to do was to delay the attack of Petty Groom. And as soon as Petty Groom gets to his second dribble, the help is right there. Doon nawala sa wisho itong si Petty Groom. Monteveros from three. That misses and a good box out. Wala kay Petty Groom. Talcik si Vic Manuel. Alakas din ko si Petty Groom. Kitang-kita mo naman yung mga braso. Petty Groom ngayon nasa loob. Dalawa. Ang bumantay, may naiwan na bukas. Si ngayon, Matt Canuelas Rosser. High sky play na naman para sa kanya. Well, the point of attack is very obvious for Tokitex. They want the ball to Pettigrew and force a lot of help side defense. And coming from the weak side is this guy who loves to play off the ball. A recipient of a wide open pass once again. And style points, a chance for three for Canuelas Rosser. Tama, yun yung highlights ito si Matt Canuelas Rosser. Rookie year pa lang yan, ha? You will see improvement as time goes on if things go the way they are planned as Gonzalez completes that three-point play, keeps the puntos. Para sa rookie, ang yung fellow rookie na si Kevin Alas, still in sick bay, wearing a boot in front sa kanyang kaliwang paa. Pero what is a luxury for Tom in Texas? Yung dalawang import nila, si Pettigrew at si Douglas, nandito na yan ang naglalaro sila sa series against Raider Shine. So more or less, Alam na alam na niya itong magkabilang import yung tendency ng kanilang mga kakape. May balita tayo kay Sel Guevara. Alex Compton paid attention sa iba't ibang paraan ng ball movement ng Talk and Text. So for the fourth quarter, Alaska will have to be more creative para umubra ang kanilang opensa, Charlie. Thanks a lot, Sel. Well, definitely, you know, it's such a close game. The guy whose uh, offense would click here for the team which uh, has a better offense, obviously. And execution-wise, oh yun! Yung wala na execution yun eh. Tulog na na ng bola nangyari para kay Chris Banchero. Right place, right time. Happened to Castro in the third quarter. Banchero gets that one rolling right to him on this play. And that is why Alaska is such a dangerous team. Because yes, they're so efficient with their offensive execution. And not only that, they get the 50-50 balls because of their tenacity and energy. Wala nga sa play, pero nakakakuha pa rin sila dahil nakukuha nila sa tiyaga. Hindi na kompleto three-point play. Guru Ganuela Trosso, marami pang oras sa saklak ng Talk and Text. Kelly! Agueva ahead of the pack, hindi binigay ni Chris Banchero. He pulls it back out, Azul for three! Inside the lane, Kelly Williams! Hindi siya kiniwasan ang defender! Laying it up on the left side with the right hand. That's more like it. The three-point shot in Alaska is probably the shot that you challenge uh, Williams to take. But every time he penetrates to the basket, as mahirap may stop si Kelly. Quick shot early in that shot clock para sa Alaska Aces. It's a Buevas jumper. Kelly, he's feeling it. Back-to-back -back baskets for Machine Gun Kelly. Doesn't... Isn't as rapid fire as he used to be, Coach Ryan. Yes. Pero, sabi mo nga, epektibo pa rin. Oh, definitely. Seven points for him. Back-to-back -back baskets for him. For as long as it is a basket inside the paint, the percentage of Kelly is higher. Minadali ni Calvin Abueva. And yung follow-up. Very uncharacteristic. Yep, dito naman sa kabila. Basket para kay Stefan Pettigrew. And a foul from Vic Manuel. Smarting from a loss contra sa Blackwater Elite noong Sabado sa Dipolog City. Oh, that's huge for uh, Tenebra because before that particular game, they were coming off a win. Their confidence level were supposed to be high dahil key ang kanilang tinalo and they wanted to duplicate that. And unfortunately, hindi sila pinalat. At para naman sa Rain or Shine, they will have back-to-back -back games in Dubai. Oh. And they are starting the conference with 0-2 mark. So medyo may pressure na rin bahagya. Manalo. 
ang rain or shine. That's right. That's going to be a couple of competitive games just to Dubai. But mabalik tayo dun sa usapang Ginebra. Uh, really just a tough game para sa kanila. Because Blackwater came to play that day. Ang ganda na pinakita. And uh, still, of course, some injuries. Parang RDO uh, and Jason Capo is out a couple of games. The Twin Towers, hindi pa rin nakakalaro pa sa barangay. But you just have to appreciate the yung... Uh, bounce back jeans rin ng Blackwater oh. prior to that game they dropped their three games by an average of more than 20 points pero makabalik ka talunin mo yung crowd favorite out of town maganda yung kanilang pagbabalik at kumpiyansa na na-generate sa laban nyo right now ito sige Barangay Hinebra former Barangay Hinebra main man Eric Mick missing the hooks out inside ito na share inantay si Douglas to set it up we're under 8 minutes Remaining dito sa ating fourth quarter. Offensive talk and text. Relax, relax lang. Douglas is three. Inside. Teddy Crew waited. Italy pa ng dalawang defender. Put back. It actually started with a pick and roll play and a switch. So even if Douglas missed that shot, itong si Teddy Crew was only up against Bachero. Kaya pagkatira, nakakuha siya ng weak side rebound. Travis had to go out to Hazu. 10 seconds shot clock. Travis ngayon, that drive naman. Iniwan para kay Eric Menk, pero meron ang reach-in foul on the way in. Pettigrew. Pag-apat si Stephon Pettigrew yan. Here's Banchero, quick move baseline. Rumi Burst! Well, that's just a burst of speed. Took advantage of his quickness against... Uh, Douglas scoring his two points here. Only down by five points. And for Alaska, for as long as they are within striking distance, they will try to make stops here and they will execute in the end. Always dangerous when it goes to like a one possession, two possession game. Yes. Muntik pang pumasok, but another miss from Sam Douglas, not shooting well once again for the second straight game. But if you're Alaska, it's really defending 25 feet away from the basket. Hindi na kalapin dun sa execution ni Tom Tex. Dondon, bukas sa tres. Almost went in for the Cebuano hot shot. Lead pass to Larry Ponacer. He stops and leaves for Curry. He's blocked by Romeo Travis. And the ball goes the other way, so sa kanya pa tumama, and he can't believe it. He was, he thought he was fouled on that play. Completed defensive stop for Alaska. This is what they usually do. If they struggle big time on offense, they could not generate a lot of baskets because of their execution. Babawi sila sa defense, and hopefully they can get in rhythm as uh, evidenced by that shot of Banchero. Well, nonchalantly stopping his dribble, taking the jumper. Wala kasi pumantay, no one in front of him. Banchero knocked on another one. Height advantage contra Banchero. Book shot. Ayun, pumasok na para kay Sam. Just experience for uh, Sam Douglas. He likes that over uh, five inches height advantage against Banchero. And he's got good moves there in the post. Sam uh -huh. Douglas, press to Romeo Travis. Di pumasok. A rebound pa. Ito si Sam Douglas. And you look at him. When he's bringing that ball down, his eyes are going shifting left and right, looking for uh, wingmen. Cutters, Petty Group creates some space. Forced force that one up. Ito si Azul, leaving for side back. Hand off to Meng, to Banchero. Look at the team play, pero hindi makompleto ng Chris Banchero. Eh, halong swerte na rin ang uh, talk and text run because that activity on the extra pass by Alaska is something that they've been doing on a consistent basis here in this conference. But for some reason, nagpintis ng napakadaling tira ito si Banchero. Eight-second violation. What oh. a tropang texter. You know, as I said, we saw that call last night dun sa second game. Tapos kanina nung NLEX uh, Kia, tinawag rin yan. And now, second time in the ball game <laughs> that that's been called. So the referees are watching those eight seconds. Almost a steal, but Baguio recovers. Leaves for Travis. Strong up! That's your chance for the three-point play. Napahawak sa ulo si Coach Jong with Chico. And the reason for that is it was actually a deflected pass by uh, Baguio to the posting of Travis. Pero for some reason, again, yung tinatawag nating loose balls.
Baguio was able to create and dish off at the last second dun sa kanyang cutting import. What a strong guy, Romeo Travis. Ah, when he put in, Ronnie Del Dio Campos sumabit sa kanya eh. Napasok pa niya yung dira. Kompleto ang three-point play. At mahirap pa kasi dito. Kaliwete siya, pero kaya, kaya niyang mag-finish kung kanan. Romeo Campos, bounce to Harvey. He put it on the floor and Castro took it away. Travis sees Baguio. Sets for three, let's fly wide right. Panchero wanted to put it right back in. He keeps it alive. Fresh 24 para sa kanila. Now, turnovers are piling up for Token Dex. Kailangan mas maganda yung kanilang pag-handle ng bola rito. Dahil itong Alaska, naghahanap lang to ng opening na makabalik sa laban na tayo na ito. They were down by as big as five points earlier here in the fourth quarter. And now, isang tira na lang ang kanilang hinahabol. Grabe yung tira na yan, no? Iniba niya eh. Ayaw masupalpal. Almost the violation again, crossing the timeline. Leo Campos, quick move. Nowhere to go. They go to Danny S. Down to six seconds, Sakla. One up there. To Douglas. Another desperation jumper from Sam Douglas. Bounces long. The rebound. Tino Rakua, RDO. Tino Labon on defender. That is what RDO brings here for his team. A lot of toughness on the offensive end. Wala na silang makuwang puntos. Nakakuha pa siya ng offensive rebound and the putback. Gives this team the lead back. 93 to 92. Travis finds Meng. Balike Travis outside shot is short. Kumagda down the wire na naman tayo rito, Coach Ryan. What a treat for the fans here at the Inari Center and the thousands watching on TV right now. Dahil kanina, last second shot, halos oh, yes. na papanalo. Iron Magaching at the one second mark. Then you go to best of five, best of seven. Then Leo Campos jumper, bounces long, rebound taken by Castro. To the trailing Travis. Travis, iniba na naman ang tira, mintis ngayon, pero nakuha na, nakakuha na naman ang foul. Free throws for Romeo. So just attacking the basket too hard. They were not really waiting for Token Tech's defense to set. Instead, they attack in transition. Three out of three from the free throw line. Very cool free throw shooter. 96% from the line. And he makes his first one to tie the knot at 93 apiece. And once again, but he missed that. Oh, nga, nangyari. One out of two. Pero tabla na naman tayo. 93 all. Manuelas Rosso. Iniwan para kay Danny Siegel. The push to RDO against the smaller Rome De La Rosa. And he's really just toying with De La Rosa's defense. Just simple basketball. Give it to your advantage. Kung si Danny Siegel, nakita niya only Rome De La Rosa was guarding with Deo Campo. Pero pagbabalik naman, it's nice to see a rookie playing here with less than three minutes remaining. Maganda kumpiyansa ang binibigay ni Coach Alex Compton kay Rome De La Rosa. That's right. And he went straight to the guy who just shot over him. Dinawian niya. Ito, pang rookie, Matt Genuela Torso. Pero itong laro, parang hindi na rookie. Talaga. Ani Del, out to Pettigrew. Step from outside. That's a long two. Nakatapak sa linya. A big shot there for uh, Pettigrew. Big shot after big shot dito sa ating fourth quarter. Baggio. Finding De La Rosa, baseline jumper. It's long on the rebound. Romeo Travis. Red 24. Castro thought about the three. Decided otherwise. Now Romeo Travis from three. That's short. He'll get his own rebound and go baseline. Try to get that board, but Masado, but that shot rather, too deep underneath. Hit the bottom of the rim by the Romeo Travis. He didn't get the necessary elevation there. Might be winded at this point because this is not really a very cool venue to play in. Masyado nang uh, maraming tinira mukhang pagod na dahil oh. he just does not have to score on offense. He also needs to defend Pettigrew who now has 26 points. He's really tired. Oh, oh, Romeo winded. Travis. Hingal na, hingal na. Douglas in the lane. To RDO. Jumper. 
So it's going to be Alaska ball, trailing by four. Baguio gagawa ng inbound. Back to receive. Back to Romeo Travis. A bit nearer to the hoop. Had to go back out. Not just time left. Castro! Umidaw ng trip! Tatamaan ba? Two things that you don't want to happen there, especially if you're on defense. Number one, you don't want to give an unmolested three-pointer. Number two, you don't want to foul a three-point shooter. On the second situation, hindi na nakaiwas ko sila Ray Fonashev. Meron talaga. So Casho back at the line for his second time shooting three. Kasi nung first half, nangyari na rin yun. He was fouled taking a three-pointer. He drilled all three at that time. Time and again that Alaska is the best free throw shooting team in this uh, conference. And for JB Castro, who's now five out of five from the line, he's got another one. And he completes the hat trick by scoring three straight. 80 points total for JB. No more fouls to give. Any foul that's not an offensive foul will result in free throws for the other team. Defensive assignment here, Ranadel de Ocampo is now being guarded by Agueva. That was a quick trapping defense and forced turnover. Alaska now has a chance to get this lead. Pinasa ni Pablo yun, Mintis ang tira ni Romeo Travis. However, had a good look at the hoop, going right, shooting left. You are correct. For Travis, he had a wide open lane. Easily a makeable shot for him, but for some reason, Hindi pumapasok yung kanyang mga inside incursions, but to make matters worse, they need not foul at this point. That's going to be the sixth personal foul of Calvin Abueva. He leaves the court with five points and ten rebounds. But for Pettigrew, 56%. We've been saying it time and again, but these are all important free throws for him to give Talking Tex at least a three point breather. Naging focus, pero dal ng konti rito dahil sa palitan ng tao. This might ice Pettigrew. Tonight, his 6 out of 10. 60% from the free throw line. This is the first Pettigrew. Ngayon ito, hawig ni Al Thornton. Import ng NLEX noong... A shorter version lang siya. And silent, 27 points for him. Oh. He's been making the tough shots. But not more important than this free throws. And he was 50% on that trip. Still just a two-point lead para sa Talking Tech. 50 seconds to go. Kasha calls the play. Labagala hounding him. The pass goes to Romeo Travis. He let that, and it's short once again. He's looking for that foul. No calls. And you know, well run yung mga play coach Ryan. I mean, you know how that goes. You call a play and the players execute it almost to perfection. What's missing? The basket. Yon tama karon. And in fact, for coach Alex Compton, it was not necessary for his team to uh, call a timeout because they exactly know what to do in situations like this. They've run it in practice before. They were able to force a trap, a momentary trap for Casio to give that pocket pass to Travis. Pero hindi nakakashoot eh. And ito, Ganuelas naman, bibigyan ng pagkakataon, pumasok yung kanyang free throw na una, tatlo, ang lamang ng token text. That's right, making up uh, for the miss earlier. Yung kanyang kakampi. And those two free throws, you know, that changes the whole complexion, makes it a four-point lead. With only 40 seconds remaining. They're not calling a timeout again. They don't want token text to set a defensive speed. Almost thrown away in Apollo the Sunny Toss Cash of Three. Halos Pasok na yon, Nilua lang ng ring. Cash one more time, Abakio one more time. No, they go back inside. Travis finally, ito sinigurado na niya, but they have to foul quickly. Only 16 seconds remaining. 
critical juncture here for Token Tech. They really need to have the ball inbounds and they must repair for a trap and probably a foul. They're not fouling right now. This is not the guy whom you want to foul. Token Tech wanted the ball in the hands of Larry Punasher, the best free throw shooter in this team, and they got it. Tama yun, kasi yung sinabi ni Coach Jong, down screens, labas si Larry for na share. They had this in mind. Larry at the line at this juncture. Let's see if he can deliver. Not a lot of free throws taken this conference for Larry. Only one out of two prior to this trip, but he's got a total of 11 points. And again, every time there is a situation, you want to put in your best free throw shooters, and Larry should always be the recipient, and they now have a two possession lead. They can just cut at least two seconds this game clock. And malaki pa chance na yun. Quick three from Jamie Wow! Kacho. Wow! Pasok yan. Wow! And it's at a PLDT, Home Devolution, Change Your Ordinary TV, into an Internet TV. Hindi naman kulay green ang uniforme ni J.B. Casio, pero ganun pa rin ang ginagawa niya dito sa PBA. Grabe yung tira na yon. It was a quick baseline cut by oh. Casio. He was even trying to insinuate that there was a foul. Two guys actually tried to challenge him. But that is JB. It's a clutch player. He hit that three. Now let's look at the game situation. 8.2 seconds remaining. Alaska down by one point. It's really up for Token Techs to give a very nice inbounds pass and wait to be fouled. Go to the free throw line. Little game taken by Romeo Travis. So baka na basa na yung play. Nahirapan si Carey. And they lose it. JB Casio picks it up with a chance to win the game. He was calling a timeout. Watch out also for Antiveros who might follow his pass. Here we go. Travis gets it. What's he going to do? Make his move. Off the glass. And the angle is off. Romeo Travis. He had the look. And na naman, Coach Ryan. Just a well-deserved win here for Talking Text. They did not lose their heads. They needed one defensive stop. Pettigrew was able to get that defensive rebound. But before that, it was just really Travis who kept on missing a lot of shots here. Uncontested at that point, but he was not in good balance to take that shot and make that shot. Off by maybe a centimeter on that angle off the glass. And Romeo Travis, but Alaska went down fighting J.V. Casio. Kakaibang hoop with the second. Get that three to cut into just one. But Tokentek surviving the Alaska Aces, Coach Ryan.